Today we are unboxing Warhammer Warcry. Welcome to another Top Table Gaming video. I am Top Table Jay. And I'm Top Table Steve. And today we are unboxing something of epic proportions that I might be just a little bit excited about. On a scale of 1 to 10? 47.369. That's double than I asked you last time. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, we are super excited because we have managed to get our hands on a copy of Warhammer Warcry, the brand new skirmish combat game set in the Mortal Realms. And before we break it open, build our toys and start playing, we of course have to film an unboxing for the channel. Of course. So we're gonna we're gonna break open the starter set. We're gonna we're gonna rifle through it like kids. Yeah. We're gonna show you some of the sprues and roof models, some of the books, all the other stuff, and we'll chat about what we think about it along the way. Mm. So how excited are you for this game? Because it's pretty well known that I'm yeah. on the ceiling about. This I've set. said this before. I was like, yeah, it looks all right. I'll probably have a dabble, but yep. with the hype that you've been building alone, that's what I do in the last six weeks or whatever it's been. Yep. Uh, I am uber excited, and this is pretty much probably I would say at this moment in time, as of today, mm -hmm. the hottest property in the gaming industry. I would say it's Whoa. it's very exciting should we have a look at the artwork on the front let's give everyone a look yeah. so we've got the front of the box then we've of course got the beautiful warhammer warcry logo yeah and the gorgeous artwork and of course this set is the iron golems versus the untamed beasts or as you like to call them furry underpants dudes furry underpants dudes versus yep. scuba diving helmet heads is what is battling it in and this these are the two warbands that you get in the starter set and it needs to be said at this point this is a massive box it's huge a, it's bulky it's heavy uh, you said it before. It's it's bigger than I think the, it's the, bigger than Kill Team, and yeah. that was a box of toys yeah, yeah, yeah. right there. It's a deeper box, definitely, and it, and it's got a hefty bit of weight to it. So uh, it I'm excited to get inside it. And let's have a look at the back of the box. We'll show you here. Ooh. So of course you see beautiful artwork, and it's we've seen this image online. It's kind of a, a setup of all the models and terrain you get. This kind of tells you everything you've got. Should we go quickly through the contents, Steve? What have we got in a box so of Warcry? Get me old eyes focused in. So this box contains a 160 page Warcry core book. Boom. Which is what everyone's been dying to get their hands on. Yep. Uh, four page quick start guide, which is always good That's for someone good. like That's good, that was in there. Yeah, good. for me that'll be good. Uh, I don't read rule books. No. 22 inch by 30 inch folding gaming board, which good. currently is double sided. It is, uh, is cool. kill team sized as well. Very, very, very nice cool. Good board. Uh, 20 fighter cards, four ability cards, mm -hmm. 36 terrain cards, boom, 36 deployment cards, boom, 36 victory cards, boom, 36 twist cards. And those four make up your battle plan, which nice. we'll talk about in a bit. Yeah. But that's There's a lot of cards, a lot of yeah. cards. 18 dice. Nice. Now I'm a dice fan. You know this. A lot. Yeah, I like dice, that's so good. that's that's good for me. Ah, the interesting thing is though, because you both have to roll six at the start of the turn, and you have yes. to keep them to one yeah. side. It's so a, that'll be what that's a, for. Yeah. yeah, it's a new mechanic. Makes sense. New mechanic. Um, range ruler. Yep. Tokens. Boom. Ruined city terrain, which is mm. very very good. Oh, there's so much terrain in this set. Yeah. It is crazy. And then you get twenty nine miniatures. Um, in the Iron Golem Warband, you get one Dominar, one Signifer, yep. one Ogre Breacher, yep. one Armator, one Drillmaster, and three Iron Legionnaires. And I do believe you do get, you can do some, you can tweak kind of some of the war different and the options, Legionnaires yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. cool. Uh, the Untamed Beast Warband is mm -hmm. one Heart Eater, which yep. is just an awesome name to put it as well. Uh, one First Fang, yep. one Beast Speaker, mm -hmm. one Rock Tusk Prowler. Boom. Two prey takers yep. and three planes runners. So the Rock Tusk Prowler is the lion. Nice. That you actually run with a beast in your warband already, which is quite cool. Cool. And then you get Celtic Beasts. You get six Fioris and six Raptorix. Nice. Mm. Exciting. So, is it time? Let's get it open. Without further Come ado, on. we're diving into the box. That's why you're watching this video. So I'm going to do the opening. I'm going to pass them to you. I can show off you're some of the bits. You're going to peruse and show it off. Mm -hmm. So let's get this lid off. Oh, exciting. Bit, bit of vacuum on the box, build the tension. Oh, straight into the miniatures. I mean, look at that. Usually they hide this under rule books and stuff that you have to throw out of the way, but straight into the minis. No wonder it's so heavy. So come on, where are we well, starting? Because I am keen. Let's start with these, which are very, very detailed and very Ooh, nice. Very nice. So we're starting I'm with a bit of a terrain some person, of so. the terrain. Mm -hmm. um, oh, there you go. Every, every, every way but the right way. <laughs> so we've got some of the terrain here, and in this sprue we can kind of see some of the kind of scatter terrain, which is like heads on spikes and stuff, yeah. and 
This has also got some of the walkways and the detail on these is crazy good. The grainage is good. Mm. You get lots of ex extra skeletons, so it's gonna I look. Like the it's gonna look super chaos. I love yeah. that some of these are like spearheads, and you got the chaos symbol there. Yeah. Um, and then obviously it's got bits of the ruins tied in. That is so. That's kind of what looks like the accessory side of the terrain sprint, yeah. which is pretty cool. Cool, nice. So I'm gonna pop the stuff as we can yeah, put it over okay. there, out of the way, because usually we get stuff everywhere when we do these. And then this boom, looks like the start of a building with a yeah. platform. There we go. We got some more of the terrain there, and of course you can see now you see in the ruins. So these are very similar to the Azerite ruins. Yes. Um, but obviously they've they've put a chaos twist in them, so there's lots of like grated gates. It's very nice. Stuff. But uh, Portacullis is that what you call it? Portacullis. This no idea. Great stuff, I think it is. Yes, it is. I'm not being nodded to off camera. I promise. Um, <laughs> absolutely no idea. And we've got some of the tops there because obviously you play multi level. Yes. And the game encourages you jumping from tops of buildings and scaling them. Yeah. Which is exactly what this is kind of built. So you've got some of the tops of the walkways there as well. Which lots is cool. of texture as well, and that's exactly the same sprint. Are you stalling showing people the models? Yeah, so, yeah. I'm okay, drawing just it checking. Out. Yeah, drawing it out. Yeah. Boom. So this is a duplicate sprue of the one we've just seen. Mm. Um, so again, you've got more buildings, corners. And uh, the different textures. Things like that. Yeah, the it's nice. really good. You've got the stone and the wood. It's as if contrast paints would work very well with them. I think contrast paints were born for this whole set, to be honest. Uh, oh, that's good. What's next? So, next we have some more. Terrain. So, this is mega. And a lot of people, because we did get leaks online, and we all look at that stuff because we love it. This giant head statue that actually has a platform on top of it. Yes. A lot of people thought it was in the map because the image we yeah. got was all like bad quality. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's huge as well. It's and you've got cool. more spikes, you've got walkways. And these are interesting. So the ladders are kind of modular. They fit in a lot mm. of places on the kit. And they're actually built to wedge the bases in. Yeah. So you, if a model only makes it halfway up, yeah. it will hold your miniature. There's none of that. If I you suppose it, all the way up, sit at the bottom, blah, blah, I suppose blah. it depends. If you put like three inches of static glass <coughs> and stone on, maybe not. But that's quite a cool touch. And it shows they are thinking about gameplay in the terrain again. Yeah. And this is a lot of terrain. And I think there's more of it tucked away in there as yeah, well. Yeah, we'll do terrain. First. Come on in. Let's go, let's go. So More sprues. We have, are these both the same? Yeah, these sprues yeah. are the same. We'll just show you one. So I'll pop one in there. But there's the other sprue for the terrain. And of course, again, so this is some of your bigger pieces. Uh, we've got corner pieces, a nice little scattered piece. More terrain, absolutely beautiful. Um, I'll probably throw an image up right now of what a full set of terrain that comes in the set looks like so you can check it out yeah. uh, ours is going to be painted by the wonderful Nick Moore yeah. um, legend that is happy birthday to Nick Moore happy birthday to Nick Moore on day of 21 today apparently. correct um, but that is the terrain that comes in the set oh is there another one there's another one with walkways ladders and, and there's uh, a some more steps so the one we forgot the other iconic one that everyone expected was going to be a kit that followed later was the bell tower yes. so you get a cool little bell tower that's got more steps and stuff coming up to it so this is Mega, more skeletons, more walkways. Skeletons, oh, beautiful, yeah. absolutely beautiful. There is a ton of terrain in here. Um, the thing I like about that, there, cool. there isn't a duff side, you know, sometimes with terrain, like the underside of stuff. Oh, the inside of yeah, the ruin. Yeah, they've not really done it. Yeah, it's Everything's beautiful. detailed, it's really nice. It's really, really good. Nice. Cool. Okay, so here we are. We have built the stuff and we are so excited to show it to you. And what you see in front of you is one starter set's worth of terrain. And this board looks incredible. And that's before we've even put any paint on it. I cannot wait to get paint on this and show you exactly what it looks like. So, we've got some beautiful pieces here, and we'll start by showing you the first one, which I'm risking lifting a model with. I'm not going to do that because I will break it, which is the wonderful statue head um, with kind of the gantry and platform. And the stairs are actually built, providing you don't go crazy with your basin, to hold the models in place, should your movement not be enough, which I think is genius. Absolutely incredible. And then the other unique piece is, of course, the bell tower which is absolutely gorgeous as you can see there and again it has the stairs up and then outside of the unique pieces we've got lots of these which just add really good kind of blocking features and um, loads of detail really good spikes and stuff these are really cool scatter terrain as well as these which are like ruined columns and things like that you've got a couple of these in the set as well they're gorgeous and then outside of that you have the big ruins I'm not going to pick these up but you can see them here we've got two of these and two of these um, and then of course you get these walkways which you can pick up and move yourself which is really cool to customize or build your board as your battle plan is set out to do and that is the terrain in the core set i think it looks absolutely fabulous should we leave these i think we better get no because i want to see the miniatures so come on give me a spruce so what have we got you have a look first Ooh. So these look like beasts. So you've got the raptors and the beasts there, which is cool. So we're starting, you do actually, another surprise we all got when we saw the box contents is you get the beasts. So mm. you get two beasts. And from what I've read, I may be wrong, 
they do kind of some of the scenarios puts them in where they're yeah. neutral and they can attack you both or in match play you can both recruit them to your warband so you can actually add them yeah. I'd imagine the untamed beasts are probably quite handy at getting them exactly yeah. so we've got some of the sprues there we got it beautiful stuff absolutely gorgeous show you some of that there look oh look very the nice detail. That very nice gorgeous absolutely beautiful stuff so i think that's the same sprue correct me if that I'm is wrong. the same sprue. i have read online from some of the lucky retail stores who managed to grab theirs that there are like you do get multiple head options and the raptors each model you can put the wings in the up level or down position yeah, three positions. so you can fully flex them and I, yeah. i'm doing that on camera i've just realized awesome yeah. Again. Uh, again, yeah. So there's that. Oh, so much. We're like ten sprues in. And two more, two more sprues. beast sprues. Yep, they are the same. We'll get into the sexy stuff. Don't worry. Boom. There you go. Have a look at that. Go on, take this. Oh, nice stuff. Okay, so we're onto the warbands, and it looks like. Oh, are they on separate sprues? So yeah, two sprues each warband. So, Iron Golem. Yeah, Iron Golem. The Iron Golems are big fellas. These are my jam. Let's have a look. Now I'm going to be looking at these as well. So you are getting my reactions. And these are insane. They're huge, aren't they? Yeah, they're big. These are big. big. Even like the dwarf. Because yeah. that's like the Chaos Dwarf. He is a big boy. Oh, cool. you got like the Ogre. Yeah. It's one of those threes where there's just like almost too much to look at. Yeah, you got like. That's insane. That's the leader. You've got. Oh, this is so good. The detail is mega. Like it never isn't with GW. Yeah. Like, look at that shield. I know. So pretty. Let's give you a bit of a slightly closer look at those. Tell me they are not good, right? I'll be honest. The iron golems were probably my least favourite. But looking at this sprue now, like. Well, we said that when we went to UK Games Expo, and I saw them in the flesh in yeah. the cabinet, and I straight away I was like, they've just gone from my least favourite to my favourite. Yeah. Uh, second sprue. Second sprue for iron golems. Oh, there we go. We got a second sprue there. Uh, again, loads more weapon options. Lots of like mage ball and chains that probably hang from yeah. belts. There's, There's some, some delicate parts on there. There is. Yeah, you need to be careful snipping them out. I think. I reckon you could lose the whip quite easily. Yeah. But again, the shields are absolutely stunning. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And again, models. no duff sides. No. Okay, so we finally get to take a look at these beautiful, beautiful miniatures. And I've started with my favourite, which is of course the iron golems. I absolutely love these models and they were really good to put together the kits quite intuitive there was a couple of very very tricky bits um, but on the whole pretty good and the drill master worries me a little bit but we'll talk about it and I'm not going to go into profiles and that too much because we haven't played the game yet we need to learn the game so I'm actually talking sense rather than nonsense so I'm going to show you the models and then we're going to check out the other stuff so the best place to start is probably with the Dom Dominar absolutely beautiful model these are huge as well even the dwarf who we'll get to, the um, he's massive, but these are absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous models. I hope you can see that there as well, guys. Absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait to paint these. I actually got a bit of an idea for the armor, which I will probably show you. So next is the ogre breacher. This guy is just a big boy. Look at him. He is amazing. Um, this guy's on a 40 mil base. He's obviously got his hands converted into like a flail and a hammer. Uh, absolutely adore him. And from the back, beautiful stuff. And then we've got, let's, who should we have a look at next? We've got the signifier. Now the signifier is interesting. You do actually get the opportunity to build him into a different profile. So the kit, two of the poses do give you alternate weapon loadouts. And one of them actually lets you build a different profile and that's him. So you are going to want a second set if you want every profile. Gorgeous model, and I'm going to assume this guy buffs your units. But absolutely beautiful. The amount of metal on these, I'm going to have some fun with. I'm going to try and do the metallic red with the golds and the silvers. It's going to look beautiful. And then we've got the Drill Master. And even though it's an absolute beautiful model, one of my favourites even, I am terrified of this whip. Like it, like You can see it bouncing as I move around. So I think what I'm going to do is I might actually... Ooh, cut that off and attach it with a one mil magnet because then when I break it off because I will picking it up in game and getting excited and stuff at least it pops off rather than snaps off so there is the drill master beautiful there is the dwarf the armature and he is absolutely cool he's a fire slayer gone wrong I think really cool pose ready to fight and wreck face I adore this guy 
And then of course we've got the Legionnaires, and I built one with twin hammers, who you'll see here. I loaded one out with twin hammers, just for something a bit different, I thought it was quite cool. Super aggro. And then you've got the ones with kind of mace and shield, which are just gorgeous as well. There he is, look at that, right? And these shields, man, look at the detail. They've got the kind of battle damage, the frayed edges, they've got the cool logo etched into them. Oh, these are absolutely beautiful, and I think contrast paints are going to do some wonderful things. And that is the Iron Golem. All right, so that's them. Should we have a look at the Furry underpants? underpants? Furry underpants are now on camera. Let's have a look. Oh, the detail on these, those capes. Again, really built for contrast. You've got yeah. the beautiful capes, you've got the fur, you've got the skin tones, like... The Deep bone exaggerated weapons, yeah, the yeah, bone cool. weapons are gorgeous. Almost like they've planned this. Mm. There's the other side of the sprue there. Like that. I didn't see that on there. Oh, the, yeah, it's so like he, a harpoon, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's got like... We have seen there isn't many range weapons in this yeah, game. But yeah. some, some stuff that's quite low damage can be like range 3 inch, 4 inch. Yeah. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how that plays out. And of course, stay tuned for lots of games coming soon. And the last one? And this one's got the one with the horny helmet. Horny helmet guy, all right. So there we go. There's your last sprue. I really like that. I'm gonna give you a show. Again, the detail is just insane. And these are absolutely gorgeous models. They do not disappoint. They look really feral, just ready, really nimble, really agile and ready to fight. And we've got to start with the leader of this warband, which is the Heart Eater. And my God, is this a cool pose. Like he looks like a barbarian. He's got a foot on a piece of ruin that matches the terrain. Axe in the air. Punch glove ready, ripped, and of course, all good heroes wear capes. And he is just ready for action. He looks immense. I adore that model. Next up is the Prey Taker. Let's take a look at the Prey Taker. There he is. Absolutely gorgeous model, ready, got a beautiful helmet, and he's wielding a huge two handed halberd like. Again, they look like they've got the like bone swords with teeth in there, just nails. And I love all the detailing on all the cloth and bandages and stuff and all the flesh tones. A good painter, and even a bad painter can make these look great. They're built to be painted. And of course, we've got the fur and the cloak on the back. Absolutely stunning stuff. Next up, let's have a look at Prey Taker, because that's very cool. There he is. There he is. Two-handed axe, kind of see his face a little bit through there. Big angry pose, big wide stance again. Foot on some ruins, gorgeous. And then the other one, which is probably actually my favourite, is First Fang. Now, I adore this model. He is a big guy. I think he's your big hitter for your Untamed Beast. And there he is. Look at him. Ready. He's got his harpoon, which he can hurl at his enemies. And he's got his huge kind of pick. And he is just ready. Just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, how can you not love that model? Beautiful. And then let's lastly, we've seen the grunts, let's have a look at the Rock Tusk Prowler because of course the Untamed Beast, they rock with a beast straight out the box. And they get a kitty cat and he's a big boy, again a 40 mil base like the Ogre Breacher and he is just gorgeous. And I think this model is gonna paint up a dream. And that guys is the Untamed Beasts. Oh, it's going on the wall. It's an insert Let's with Ooh. the cover art artwork, very, which is very, very nice. nice. So we'll put that to one side, and we're into here. We go. We're into the good stuff. The guts. Break it out, Steve. Are we Break up? it up. Yeah, we are. Let's start with the token set. That looks okay. cool. So we're getting into the paper stuff now. Oh, I'm so excited. Double sided. So nice there's a single out. token sheet, which I'll show you now. There we go. Uh, there is a ton of tokens because. One of the things is this game uses really high damage characteristics. So mm. instead of like I've done a wound, I've done two wounds, it's ones and fives. Yeah. And threes and tens. So like the ogre the ogre charger, I think he's called, he's got thirty wounds, yeah. the big ogre guy. Like he's a beast. So you've got kind of weight slash activated tokens for if you've gone or not. Um these are your objective and treasure tokens. I may have read a bit about this. Just a little and bit. we got a ton of damage tokens. These are absolutely gorgeous. They've got a nice matte finish. Yeah. Um, I reckon these will be used a lot for us in play. They're gorgeous. There we go, tokens. Cool. And then the battle mat. Boom. Which is a very nice mat and he's going to lend itself well to filming battle rifles. So it is. So we've got a beautiful grey and blue side, which I think is what we're going to go with our yeah. terrain when I paint them. <laughs> <laughs> and then boom, we've got a beautiful like sandstone side. And these are the two 
kind of, <coughs> this is really fitting with a lot of the existing AOS stuff. The Azerite ruins would look beautiful on here because mm. it all shares the same iconography. And those are kind of the two schemes that you see most that of the actually terrain. That looks like a photograph of the Realm of Battle. It's been Do you know what? That could actually be a Realm of Battle tile. You'd yeah, probably yeah. not, because that, that, yeah. That rec it's it's recognisable. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Mm. So we'll check that out. Anyone in the comments, do let us know. So we've got the beautiful double sided board. So, cards. Cards. Oh. Next, next, I mean, we'd be here all day going through them one by one, so I'm going to pass you them all. Oh, just the artwork. Of so, we're gonna, we are going to open them all. Are we? Oh, yeah. Are we? Yeah. Oh, you're doing the mouth thing. Mm, I'm getting straight in. I am very excited. Do you want me to open and pass? Mm hmm. Okay. With that one, I've got no nails and I can't. The one that's now full of spit? Yeah, that one, oh, please. Okay, yeah. I'll show you some of this. Yeah. We've got a beautiful little Warcry uh, leaflet, and there is a Warcry anthology. So, this is. Four short stories set in the Warcry universe comes out on release day, and there's a QR code to scan there, and you get a free chapter, I believe. Yeah, you do. You get a sample chapter free, so if you want to check that out, look at that. Cool. These are battlefield cards, deck two. So these are part of the battle plans, and I'll, I'll leave them in the cellophane. Hopefully, it's going to show up for you guys. But the way that works is so at the start of the game, there's four decks, and you flip each of them. And that sets up your scenario. And I believe there's like three million combinations. Yeah, I heard so something like that. One is for terrain, which is the one you can see now. So it tells you how to lay out your terrain from the core set. Um, I love that they come in the little deck yeah. protectors as well. Yeah. That's a really nice way. I like Keep that. everything together. Twist cards. Okay, so the twist basically adds an extra element to the scenario. So, uh, oh, there we go. So, oh, no, we're going to cut that out. The twist card will add, it could add weather effects or a secondary objective or anything like that. So this one is Twist Bloodwind. Add one to the attack and strength characteristics of all fighters with all fighters this battle with one or more damage points. So as soon as you take damage, everything, if you draw that card, becomes much stronger. And that, that lasts the entire game. Nice. There's one of those in effect for each round, each game. Next up we've got Deployment. Look, I love the fact they've got even got the little logos to separate mm. which battle plan cards. I might be a fan, who knew? So this is deployment zones. So of course there, we are playing the escalation scenario and it shows you where to deploy, where the objective markers are going. You'll notice like the the hammer and the sword icons and stuff, that um, kind of ties in with how, when you build your warband, you build it in like little regiments and it splits them out. We need to get hold of the rule book, which we've not quite got to, to figure that out, but that's quite cool. And then the fourth deck, Victory cards. Which makes up the battle plan are uh, the victory cards, which of course give you the scenario and what you're going to be doing in this game. So that's kind of uh, the scenario you're playing. So this one is blood marked. At the start of the combat phase in the first battle round, starting with the player who has initiative, each player picks a fighter and that warband, that in their warband, he's blood marked. This fighter must be on the battlefield. A player wins as soon as their opponent's blood marked fighter is taken down. Nice. So you effectively get an assassination. At the end of the fourth battle round, in each subsequent uh, battle round. Any blood mark fighters within four of the edge of the table immediately can't have been taken down. So that means you can't hide them. Nice. You've got to get them into the action, which is quite cool. And there are 36 in each of these decks. So there's 36 scenarios, 36 twists, 36 deployment patterns, and 36 uh, terrain layouts, which is quite cool. Oh, next up we got the character cards. Boom. Hopefully you can see that there, guys. I might actually just hold that up for you. So there you go. We are looking at one of the character cards there and it shows you all the stats your weapon profiles the points cost and it has the little symbol here which references to your ability card as to which abilities they can trigger and we've got those for everybody oh look at this so Ooh. nice so pretty oh, we're not going to show you all of those because amongst all the uh, stuff we're going to do at top 10 we're going to do faction reviews and things like that yep we've then got these and I have absolutely no idea what they are but in our full review of the game, I'm pretty sure we can cover it. They could be something to do with the campaign, maybe. Mm. But there's some sort of tracking we'll card. We'll find out. And then we've got the ability cards. Um, and I did read that these were bigger. And boy, are they bigger. So these, when you roll your initiative dice, these show you what abilities you can trigger. So on one side, it shows you... Um, it shows you all the different stuff you can have in your warband. So we've got the Dominar, the Breacher, so on and so forth. And on the other side, Steve is wading through is of course the abilities, and this shows you, uh, the first one is your faction symbol, and then if the the model you're activating has the, the relevant symbol on their card, and you spend your initiative dice, you can trigger the ability, and that's one of the cool new mechanics that kind of has blown everyone away, because everyone expected this to be what 
Kill Team Monster 40k, yeah. which is a mini version. Yeah. It's not. It's got a completely. This is changer. not AOS yeah, it's at a game all. Changer. So we got one of those for the Iron Golems, the Untamed Beasts, and then we've got two for the Chaotic Beasts, which is cool because we could both be using yeah, them. Yeah. So yeah. we get one each, and those are the ability cards. Oh, there's so much stuff. So another leaflet, which basically tells you what you've got in the box, and it's got a cheat sheet on the back. So we got a nice what's in the box. Uh, okay, I think this is your quick guide as well. Yeah, this is your quick reference guide as well. That's so all I need. You. Setting up how to attack battle rounds, the winner, and there's a, the best thing that ever comes in a game, which is a rules summary, right? Boom, look at that. That's what we need, because yeah. we're idiots. Right, what's next? Assembly guide. We're going to be using this this evening. Dun, dun, dun. It is, of course, full colour and showing you how to put the models together. They're, they all look about three to four pieces, which is cool. Yeah. I quite like one piece models because GW just kill it anyway. Some of their stuff looks mega. How to build the terrain. The Nick terrain Moore. Nick awesome. Moore. Sat in the wings. L look at that. Like the beautiful stone head. It's crazy. Mm. With the, oh, can't wait to see it together. It's good. Um, very excited. And then, of course, they always give you a little um, kind of. Thing. How, how, to, how to paint like an heavy metal team with three colours. Yeah, which yeah. is impossible. <laughs> cool. We've got some dice. Dices. Dicey dice. There are. I'm doing it, mate. I'm going into everything. Okay. He is doing so it. So these have all got the symbol on the six, which is quite cool. Uh, and we've there's four colours of dice. Three. Nice and chunky as well. So I think it's kind of red for iron golems. Uh, those will be the untamed beasts, and those are what you'll roll for initiative. So you'll actually keep those separate. Um, and then of course you've got the black ones, which you'll probably just use for play. Yeah. Exciting. You've got a nice strong jiffy. Mm. They give you all other jiffies, which is for your cards yes. and all your other bits and bobs. Jiffy which is bags cool. are the added bonus of the set. You okay. get the, the classic plastic range ruler. A lot of people get multiples of these and cut them up to the, the set size. Yeah, it's just, yeah. just like using measuring widgets like the SPG buddy, shameless plug. Uh, there's a lot of bases, and then obviously. The rule book. Should give them a quick flick through. 160 page rule book, super glossy cover, A4 size, feels real good. Does it smell good? Sure. Sure. Are you ready? Yeah, flick it. It's a pass. It'll do for me. As it's well. a pass. That is a good. So we've got the beautiful core rule book. Uh, course gives you contents. I'm not going to go through this. No. We are going to do a full review of the game and stuff like that later. Yeah. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. We've got uh, kind of fluff on each of the factions. There's the two new ones mm. which people have seen today. These they look very corn, don't they? They look very fluffy underpants. They do. Very underpants too. There's the beasts. Uh, very exciting. We've got the rules. We've nice got more book. stuff. Nice oh, oh, so it actually lays out a lot of scenarios and stuff. Oh, this could be all the battle plan cards actually laid down in mm. descriptive format. Very cool. Tons, tons, tons. And then yeah, we've got a list of all the stuff at the back. And that is the war cry. We're not we're not done, are we? That's it. Interesting right. fact, so there is a new base size in this game. So GW currently have twenty five and thirty two mil bases. I'm not gonna open these. But there are 28.5 mil bases. Is that how they're rolling? Every, I, I was a bit upset because I wanted to prep all my bases in advance, but it's kind of good because 25s look too small these days. Mm -hmm. And these are big models. I'd hate to see any of those on a 25. Yeah. But that is Warcry. What do you think after wading through? I want to play it now. I want to play it now. So I, I think it. it's amazing. Again, like it's kind of hard doing a review on GW products. They don't make, in terms of quality, the stuff isn't bad. They make great products. Their miniature production is just years ahead. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, a lot of what I like, the board is gorgeous. I'm really glad it's nice and matte and not got that yeah, horrible yeah. shine to it. Uh, I love these, the way they work in game, and I think it's great they give you the little sleeves. I think this is a fantastic box. I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in. It's exciting, and make sure you guys let us know what you think, and make sure you pop it in the comment below. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, this is up for pre-order right now, and if you want to support the channel and help us grow, you can buy it by using the Element Games affiliate link, which is in the description below. Cost you no more. Your stuff's gonna arrive on release day. And you get typical, discount as well. You get discount, typical Element Games fashion. Mm. But the only thing different is we get a little something as well. Yes. So do support the channel and check it out. And if you want to be in a chance with winning a copy, yes. Check, so check back at Jay's other vid where it was. So what I'm, we know so far. It was. So I made a video about a month ago. Everything we know so far about Warhammer Walker. Right? Now massively outdated, but I don't care. Mm -hmm. um, check that video out. And all you need to do is subscribe to the Top Table Gaming YouTube channel and leave a comment on that video 
saying what you're most excited about this game and you could be within a chance on release of winning a copy of so you've just Warcraft. watched the unboxing you know what's involved so you can you could tell us what all you're of most this. excited about yours will still be in the cellophane so you get that new box feel of ripping it open but we are very excited so what's next Steve? Uh, build, paint, film, play have fun so on that note, I think it's time to wrap up, right? Yes. So, as always, guys, I've been Top Table J. And I've been Top Table Steve. And we hope you've enjoyed this Warhammer Warcry unboxing, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.